Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to connect the valve there to your hydro hydraulic hose from your back on your GC1710 and you take your operator manual for the CB65 backhoe for the manual from Massey Ferguson and if you check inside well they explain which hose is which number one being the pressure hose number two is your power beyond the return number three is you connect number one to number two and the way to connect it pressure return is number two you don't use number three so I'm gonna zoom here on zoom a little bit this way So what you do guys, you take, switch this here to see on camera, take your hose, number one is being your male and number two is the female, completely different and what you do is you plug number one on pressure, on your valve, you take the return, you plug it to the return on the valve. Gonna take a towel, remove the oil from my hand. So guys, it's quite simple. It's not that difficult to open it up. And I'm gonna unclip this here. So I'm going to remove paper towel here, guys. Camera stand. <clears throat> and we're going to start the tractor. So it's quite easy. The male, the yellow, and blue line the yellow and the blue line is the male I did connect it to this hose here that goes here and over there there's a little P for pressure and on the other side here remove the books on the other side here that the T this one here T is for the tank so it's not that difficult it's just I'm gonna start let the oil flow in it a little bit and there you have it guys That little piece of plastic paper here. So that's the movement for the shoe. And that's the movement there for the throwing the snow. So this is how it works. And um, Like I said in the other video, uh, the dealer, your Massey dealer will install, if you ask them, they might install it or not, I don't know. Mine, uh, they do install valve and that's the easiest way they find to install it. They don't, you don't have to go underneath and hook it up and you put, you may put it permanently if you want to. But uh, for now, me, for this winter, I'm going to put it this way. And uh, it's nice. The snowblower has hydraulic, full hydraulic on it. I need to give me, uh, move the hose here. They're a little bit too, too tight here. But 
that's it that's how I hooked it up so the only thing you have to make sure use the right line if you don't know uh, usually when you look like in the book from Massey Ferguson if they say this line here is your pressure the blue and the yellow one I don't like it on the book because they don't put you know the color code it's in black and white in the book so that's what I don't like about it if they would have put it in color it would be nice but uh, if you can take I'm gonna zoom here the number one being the male number two being the female for the return and number three being another return and that's it but you just follow the I don't know if every dealer use those color code on their hose like here you have a blue and a yellow here you have a blue one where's the other hose? Uh, the other hose is here on this one here there's a little red tie wrap here they put a little tie wrap and on the back hole if you check your line here is the blue one the yellow one and the red one here so the, the three of them are color coded there so it's quite easy but if you don't have any color code on your back hole or your host just ask your dealer for explanation and think there will be uh, glad to help you out with that so that's it for Cheval hydraulic I'm planning to build myself uh, using those valve here uh, wood splitter with a uh, cylinder like this I'm gonna get myself a little cylinder like this and make myself a wood splitter and you can't use all other implements that use hydraulic so it's quite uh, nice to have that solution on those little tractors so thanks again for watching until next time